Hi, this is Bill Singleton, and um, I just got these in the mail. It's the new Liquitex acrylic gouache. So I'm kind of anxious to try these out. Uh, this is the basic set I got on Amazon here. Um, so just trying it out right now. So let's see here. So they got new bottles, Liquitex did, and I guess they're switching all their new products, all the, the regular acrylic to the liquid to this new style bottle. So that's cool. So it looks like we've got to peel this off. And then, let's see, this is not sealed. Okay, so I guess you can, this is open, but you have to, you can cut it if you want larger uh, dimension. Uh, hole here. All right, so I'm just going to peel this top off here. <clears throat> I can never do this without getting paint on me. All right. I'll do the rest, there's no point in making you guys watch it, and I'll be right back. So I got all the, uh, peeled all these off, and I just smeared them on a piece of paper here. And of course, doing it, I ended up getting it all over my hands. Maybe you guys can do a better job than me, but, all right, moving right along. Okay, um... The uh, product advertising said that these paints are highly pigmented, and they were right. It took me a, a few minutes to wash my hands. It, it, it's um, heavy-duty stuff. So um, let's see how it comes out of here. Yeah, it flows really good. So let's try the brushability. So the set I got is the primary set. From uh, Liquitex. Oops, sorry about that. So this is the primary set of acrylic gouache from Liquitex. And let's see the part here in English. It says the primary is meet acrylic gouache, the most highly pigmented of all our paints. Now I can already attest to that. It says with a solid flat matte finish, intense colors. No brush strokes, no cracking, and no need to dilute. It has all the qualities of a conventional gouache with the permanent stability and durability of an acrylic. This color set gives you endless mixing possibilities. <clears throat> While titanium white and Mars black can be used on their own or to tint and shade. So, let's see about the brushability. I mean, usually I wouldn't put these on a piece of paper. I would uh, start with a palette, but let's just see how this works. I'm going to dilute it down a little bit just to see how it looks like it holds its, holds its pigment even when it's diluted. So, looks good. Get a paper towel here. Wash out my brush. Get to try some of the other colors. A uh, nice rich color. Let's see how it blends. Makes a little bit of white in it. So I love Liquitex paints. Actually, I've been using Liquitex acrylic for probably over 40 years. But uh, lately, the last couple of years, I haven't been using acrylic at all. I've been using gouache, uh, acrylic gouache, and I've been using the Holbein brand. And the reason is I kind of abandon acrylic a little bit because I'm just trying to see how this looks brushed around. Um, 
I quit using acrylic because it's too translucent for the kind of work I was doing. So I needed something that was a little more opaque and I found that the Holbein acrylic gouache worked great for that. So let's try the yellow here. I'll wash my brush out really good. And it's already drying up so it dries pretty quick. I haven't had this out maybe five minutes here. So yeah, the yellow is already getting dry. Let's try the black and see how opaque it is over here. A little more water. Yeah, it looks like nice opaque black. Let's try the white, see how opaque the white is. So I think this is fairly, it's mostly dry there. Try some white over it. Eh, pretty opaque. And that's what I'm looking for. This is a little wet here, so. Yeah, just seeing how the mixability works. All right, I'm going to give it a few minutes to dry and look at the um, the matte finish that they're claiming it has and I'll leave some a little thicker here and see how they, if they crack or not. Let's try this green. Yeah, that's pretty opaque. Awesome. I think I'm already going to like them. All righty, I'm going to let these dry and then we'll come back. Okay, I waited about 24 hours to see how these would dry and they look like they're pretty matte. Uh, I noticed you can see a little bit of shininess in the green here. Uh, the other's pretty pretty matte. Uh, the red's very matte, the yellow, the blue. The green is a little, the green and the black where the paint is thick have a little shininess to, us, to it. It looks like acrylic to me. I mean, it is acrylic, but these are acrylics that are supposed to look like gouache, and this doesn't look like it to me. <clears throat> if it's shiny like that, it looks acrylic. So, kind of disappointed in that. Um, one other thing I wanted to try is to see, now that these are totally dry, and they're straight from the tube, I want to see if there's any color shift. Let's see, white and black. So this is this will be wet. That looks pretty darn close. Of course, I wouldn't expect white to change any, or black. I don't think I'll even try the black. Oh. So let's try the green here. That's pretty close. Uh, I don't, it's not much value shift or color shift there. Try the blue here. That looks pretty good also. Red looks pretty close also. <clears throat> of course, I kind of contaminated it uh, with some other colors, but you can see the blue, green, white. They all look pretty similar. Let's check the yellow here. Yellow looks pretty similar also. So just based on these tests, looks like uh, there's not too much color or value shift from wet to dry, which to me is really important. Um, and wet to dry, these, these look pretty matte. I noticed the only parts where they're shiny is where the paint's a little thicker, like in this ridge right here and here. Uh, it's also in the black there. You can see where it looks shiny. 
So overall, I like these paints. I'm disappointed about the uh, glossiness though. I wish they were like 100% matte so finish. I'll keep evaluating it. Anyway, that's a quick review of the new Liquitex acrylic gouache. Thanks.